it's Liz Yule from Old Stables Crafts. I'm a UK-based stamping up demonstrator. Thank you for joining me today. Today is Saturday, so it is Simple Stamping Saturday, and I'm also going to be looking at the Share Sunshine PDF that is available to buy to support charities working with, or organisations, I should say, working um, with coronavirus issues. My card today is this one. It's really simple. It's so easy. Um, so this really is simple stamping. Uh, and in fact, there is no stamping. So the PDF is available to buy. Uh, it's $12. Uh, it's only available to buy in dollars. So you would need to do a conversion through your credit card. Um, so just be aware of that. It works out between £9.50 and £10 in sterling, but you can buy it from wherever you are in the world. Um, and it's got 15 pages of imagery. Uh, I'll have a link to the website where you can buy it just below. I've got some, but not all, of the images that and I say not all because I've printed some of them. So some of them are in black and white, some of them are in colour. This is the the batch that I've done on very vanilla. So I've printed this on just the smooth vanilla cardstock. Um, I've done another set that's on the white. But it's, you know, what a, what a year this week has been. Wishing I was in quarantine with you. Um, stay home, stay safe. Business on the top, PJs on the bottom, which I love. I've changed into out of my night pyjamas into my day pyjamas. So it's all sorts of really fun um, imagery, some thinking of you type imagery, and you just cut it out. You can use punches, you can just cut it, you can use dies, all sorts of things. And... If you saw my Facebook Live, this was the little selection that I did on that. Um, it's available as a YouTube video, so you can catch it there. Just have a look at the, the videos that I've done. It went uh, went live on Thursday. Just have to work that out. Um, so this literally is just die cut, and I've coloured it in and added some gems. Uh, this is one of the um, sentiments. And this is one of the sentiments. And I just combined them with other products. There's a list of the colours that have been used for the colour items. Um, so it's all terribly easy. It's in, it, it's in all of the Stamping Up languages, uh, I think, apart from Japanese. Um, so, yes. So this is the card that I've made. We always have something on the envelope. So I've used this, which, again, is from the PDF. No saliva was used on this envelope. And... I totally, I totally share my toilet paper with you. Seems quite appropriate. So I'm going to show you how quick it is to make that. And then I'll show you the stepped up versions. Uh, so I need my trimmer. I'm using one of our very vanilla note cards, which come in a pack with envelopes. Um, they measure, when folded, five by three and a half inches. So this is the piece that I've cut from the sheet. It's on page one. So we've got the page number there. Um, and the instruction sheet does tell you, it gives you the page numbers for each of the, each of the um, images. So I want to cut this um, at four and three quarters by three and a quarter. So I'm going to just gauge roughly where I want this centrally. So we've got, we've got these marks here. So that's three and a quarter. So I want this to be central within itself as much as it can be so if that's three and a quarter I want to cut this piece off at about roughly three quarters of an inch it's you know it's rough um, and then this I want at three and a quarter so that's my up and down and then I've got this I want at ooh, four and three quarters was what I was aiming for it's about right um, so I'm not going to trim that down any more at all. It's slightly short, if anything, but that's fine. We can adjust. So just take my card base. They are pre-scored, so I just need to bend it to find the score mark. And then just 
line up the bottom and burnish with your bone folder. These last forever. They are a really, really good investment because you get a nice crisp finish. Um, whereas if you were to just fold it, it wouldn't be a crisp finish. And then I'm just going to add some adhesive to the front of my card. You could do it to the back of your um, printed piece, but I like to add, this is the thinner um, card, so I like to add it to my card base rather than this. It's, it just means you get a smoother finish on, on this piece. That is my card. My envelope, I've got the um, no saliva was used in the, on this envelope comes in a number of colours and I've got the old olive one here. Uh, you can either use adhesive or it's I've cut it so that it's just the right width for our snail. And then that just pops onto the back of your envelope. And then obviously you need to remember to not lick your envelope. Um, I find that an aqua painter works really well. So you can just make sure it's mine needs filling up. Um, you can just use an aqua painter across the back of your sticky. Um, so those are the really quick, really simple cards. Um, let me show you the stepped up versions, because as you know, if you've seen this before, I always do stepped up versions for someone, for people who've got a, a bit more product. So this is my casual crafter. So I fussy cut, this is the black and white imagery. So I fussy cut it and I've coloured with Pool Party and Bermuda Bay uh, blends. Then I've added some pearls just here which I have coloured with dark pool party. I did two or three layers of the ink um, but it, it takes the colour really well. Uh, this is from the Mosaic Designer Series paper pack um, and this is mint macaron and very vanilla as the card, um, the base colour. So I've just cut a piece of that. I'll have the measurements over on my website um, and just skewed it a bit. And then I've got very vanilla, mint macaron, um, stuck up on dimensionals and it just makes a slightly more involved card. And then for my Avid Crafter, I have embossed both the um, this piece and the background with the subtle embossing folder and I did it on an angle. Uh, and then I've also fussy cut some mint macaron to go underneath my focus piece. Added some of the mint macaron textile ribbon, just in a zigzag. Again, I've added the pearls and the piece of designer series paper, and I've popped everything up on dimensionals. So really easy to do, um, really fun. If it just puts a smile on someone's face, then that would be fantastic. There's one I've also made, uh, which I made for a card challenge, um, which I did actually include a piece of tissue paper. It was a tissue rather than a piece of toilet paper, but um, just for a bit of fun. And again, this was um, Follow Your Art, Your Art Designer Series Paper, and I fussy cut another piece of Designer Series Paper first, and then Bermuda Bay. So, yeah. Just some fun. As I say, I'll have the information for how you can buy the PDF. Once you've bought it, you can print it and print it and print it and print it and print it. So you can make masses of cards. You don't have to print every page. You can just print the pages you want. So it's very adaptable. And as I say, it works really well on both the smooth Whisper White and Very Vanilla. And the funds go to one of two organisations. You get to choose whether all of the money goes to one or the other or whether you split it between the two. So each charity gets whatever you would like to donate um, and all of the money is going to the charities. There is no money going to Stamping Up, there's no money going to de uh, de demonstrators. It's all going to those organisations to help fight the coronavirus uh, issues that we are currently facing. Thank you very much indeed for joining me today. 
Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to subscribe, please click the button in the bottom right hand corner. Um, and if you would like to know when I go, um, when I post the video, you can also hit the the little bell that will give you a notification. I do a Facebook Live every Tuesday at 11 o'clock in the morning UK time over on my business page, which is linked below. So it would be great if you could join me for that. It's just some fun crafting just for an hour or so. Um, and then you can watch it on the replay on my YouTube channel later in the week. Thank you very much indeed. Keep safe, keep well. And I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Thanks a lot. Bye.